How you going guys? How are you today? Talk about wet, cold, uh, non-cloudy day. <laughs> How are you all? How are you? Um, this video is, the purpose for this video is to do with worm castings. It's my first time ever using worm castings. So I come across this guy in Kapunda and uh, he actually lives in Newry, but um, it, the worm castings get produced in Kapunda. My very, very first time um, that I'm going to be put, applying worm castings to this garden bed here. Okay, so bear with me. I see you after. Oh, I'm back. How you going, guys? So I'm quite excited because I'm actually applying more microbial life to this garden bed, even though it's already got it and lots of worms, but um, it's a different type of microbes in this in worm castings. And worm castings are the best, pretty much. So I'm going to apply this to this garden bed and have a look at that worm castings. Have a look at that, guys. Isn't that gorgeous? Smells earthy. So this is manure based. So um, all I'm doing is basically sprinkling it on top and then I'm going to remulch it. Even though I've got the additional mulch here already, I'm, um, I reckon I end up using two bags for this uh, garden bed. But um, anyone in South Australia or Murraylands wanting in any um, worm castings, uh, give me a call. I actually stock it and sell it. If you're in up north, Gawler Way, um, just uh, um, give them a buzz. Uh, they're in Kapunda anyway. So excuse the garden. I haven't done any um, lawn cutting the lawn or anything because you know the weather's been a bit silly lately. But this is what I'm doing. Have a look at this. It's beautiful. You ready? Crikey! <laughs> oh, what a crack up. Yeah, so the reason why I'm really excited is because this is like in another experiment. So I have never applied worm castings or ever used it. I, n I believe in, um, you know, um, uh, sorry for my stuttering, but modeling nature. For me, if it grows good in nature, it grows good in your garden. They're the best to have because they can be tolerant to pests. You know what I mean? So, um, or the look, I swear by worm castings because worm castings also help the plants deter bugs. So, um, have a look at that. Gen gen oh, do you see that? Oh, I slipped my ass. <laughs> Apologize. Did you get scared, guys? All right, so this is going to be my test bed. Thought I would uh, you have to use another bag. Give a sec. Hey, Silver! Away! I'm being silly, guys. Gotta have a laugh! Gotta have a laugh, the saying goes. So, looks like I'm gonna be using uh, a bag and a half. And, um, have a look at the soil. Have a look at my soil. Oh, no. I caught him out. Look. Sunchoke. You got away from me. <laughs> All right, so... Worm castings are meant to be really, really good, eh? Look at this. Look at my parsley. Growing nuts. And my pepino is gone completely nuts. Look. Oh! Bloody slugs got to it. It tastes that good. So um, anyway, you guys get the general idea. So once I finish applying all my worm castings, the generous amount, I, I, I prefer to put a bit more than less. So um, once this is all applied, I am um, gonna mulch it all. So this time, I like to rotate my mulches 
um, basically the idea is to give the worms different things. So, you know that the old saying, can't give too much of a good thing? Can be bad. So, yeah. Put him in, put him in. Oh, put a bit too much there. So, you get the general idea, guys. And I'm just going to put him everywhere. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to put the mulch in. I'll do a quick after shot of the mulch. But, toodaloo, ciao. Alrighty then. It's <laughs> silly me. I thought I was filming, but I didn't film. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, how are you, everybody? So, I'm doing a quickie again. I'm going to turn it and show you how I, I use pea straw because I prefer it. Because you can mulch it, keeps it moist at the same time, it aer aerates. The worms love it, they munch on it. Yeah, sugar cane's good. It doesn't blow away, but once you water the sugar, the pea straw, it doesn't blow away either. So, um, so basically, the method I'm using here is going to be just the, at this time for this garden bed. I just sprinkled it two bags all the way through, and then I mulch on top. So when it comes when winter ends, I usually like to top up all my garden beds. I get a bit wetty, eh? Um, I'm just going to mix in the worm castings in with the mushroom and uh, and uh, the cow manure that I got. Okay, guys, anyway, um, let me know in the comments. Um, so let me know, give me comments. Uh, I'm impro improving my videos. I'm only going to get better. Um, and I prefer to do short ones anyway. So, um, yeah. I have a lot of role models. And um, I just take a bit of here, take a bit of there. But you know what? I do my own thing. So I have more experience uh, more than all of them because I actually grew up doing gardening as a kid. And I got, like I said, I've got four, four generations Italian gardening. So I've learned this straight from Italy pretty much. Okay, guys. Ciao. Take care. It's cold out here and it's raining. Ciao.